I'm Amy Tu Crystal So. I'm an Air Force engineer maintaining the FM and engine of UAVs. Crystal has a very unique job that puts her in daily contact with a huge remote controlled aircraft, the Searcher Unmanned Aerial Vehicle or UAV. As the name suggests, the UAV is flown by pilots on the ground. It's the eyes for the battlefield, providing surveillance at high risk areas without having to risk human lives. But to make this bird fly flawlessly, there is a team of dedicated soldiers. Crystal is part of that team. Her role is to make sure the airframe and engines of this bird run well. I feel very happy when I see the aircraft I maintain flying safely in the air. When I encounter complex defects, uh, although it takes me longer time to solve it, but I feel immense sense of satisfaction when I finally find the root cause of the problems. Morning, ladies and gentlemen. My day will start with the start of debrief, where we'll be brief about our flying program of today, as well as the FA engine servicing for today. Okay, now we are conducting an FOD walk where we will pick out any foreign object which will cause any ingestion to the engine or airplane. Okay, currently I'm doing a BF check which is before flight check where I check the general condition of the engine and airplane. While Crystal is working on the frame of the UAV, her colleague, on the other hand, is working on a cockpit of the UAV. Well, unlike normal planes, the cockpit of this UAV is located outside the plane. It's called the ground control station. I am M.E. Wan Huang, an Air Force engineer who is in charge of servicing and maintaining the ground control stations of the UAV. Huang needs to ensure that all the exterior and interior components of the ground control station are functioning well. During missions, this is where the UAV pilots control the aircraft when it is in flight. Meanwhile, Crystal and the team are towing the aircraft out for launch. Now they have just moved the aircraft to the mooring device. So in this mooring device, they will prepare the aircraft for start-up. After subsequent start-up, they will launch the aircraft, move the aircraft to the end of runway. And those in yellow vests will be the personnel in charge of moving the aircraft to the end of runway and prepare it for launching. With all the pre-flight checks completed, the aircraft now lies in the hands of yet another group of people, the UAV pilots. In this mode of operation, the integration between the Air Force engineers and the UAV pilots is critical to ensure the success of our mission. Next week on CyberPioneer TV, we see the pilots in action to witness how they fly the UAV in the darkness of night.